Hello and I am the Angry Cook and uh, today we're going to do something still in the soup category but a little different. Um, as you may or may not know I'm part Scottish, uh, very proud to be part Scottish. I was going to put my kilt on and everything which I really have a kilt uh, but I decided that the theatrics really aren't me so I'm not going to do that. Um, we're going to make a, a really old Scottish soup called Kakaliki. Yes it's really called Kakaliki. Why is it called Kakaliki? Probably because it has leeks and uh, chicken, cock, get it? So uh, to do that, we're going to take a little bit more of an advanced, uh, a more modern turn on it. If you wanna, really want to make this uh, the old style, you basically use cut up leeks, halved in about uh, half inch slices of leeks, um, a chicken, which is over there. Why? I don't know. A chicken and uh, some herbs and salt and pepper. Um, the procedure is the same. We're just going to add. Uh, we're going to add a carrot and onion to it and uh, some assorted herbs. And what's really ancient and this really is is prunes. Don't go screaming about it now. Prunes. What it does is it adds a hint of sweetness to the broth and it darkens the broth. You're not going to eat these. We're going to throw them out after uh, the cooking session. So in a second we're going to get started by uh, adding our chicken to the pot along with some herbs and spices and things and uh, get going. But we'll be back in a second. I told you before about leeks and you need, really need to wash them. That's why. There's dirt all over leeks. You really, really, really need to wash these well um, to get uh, to get all the dirt out of them. So uh, I'm going to, I thought I washed these. I didn't do it well enough, so I'm going to do it again. And I'll be back. Okay, we're back. Um, rinse these off nicely, individually this time. Uh, because this is an, an old, old Scottish soup, there are as many variations as there are people that make it. Uh, I've, I've accumulated probably three or four different recipes in the one to make it my own, uh, finding different ideas and the ideas I like. This one's from Chef John at uh, foodwishes.com. Um, he has the tops of the leek instead of throwing them out to the broth. He never explains why. I think he does it because it adds color and a little bit of leaf flavor to it. So we're going to do that too, because I like the idea. And I think there's too many leaf tops in there, so I'm going to kind of remove some of these. Um, if I didn't say the amount of leeks, there are four larger ones, and uh, which is pretty much what all I went for was the larger ones. Um, if you have small ones, use six or so, whatever, whatever trips you trigger, whatever makes it work for you. Some of these out, make room. The chicken, the chicken's got to go in here too. Anyway, you should probably cut those in half, but I didn't, so we won't. We're going to add three garlic cloves cut in half. We're going to add our prunes and our bay leaf. Get in here. It's about five or six prunes. We're going to put our chicken in. And we're going to cover it. That's why I wash my chicken hands. Be right back. All right, uh, we're going to cover it with water. And we're going to bring it to a boil. It's about three quarts or whatever it takes to cover the chicken. And uh, we'll come back in a couple of minutes, as long as it takes for this to boil. We're going to actually cover it to make it boil faster. And uh, we'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, as you can see, we're starting to come to a boil. We're also starting to get scum on the top. And you're going to want to remove that as it pops up. As much as possible. And we're going to turn this down. 
to simmer and we're going to simmer for an hour to an hour and a half. How do we know it's done? Whether we need it to go for an hour and a half? We did buy a temperature probe, I hope. If not, use one of the old fashioned ones that take a bit, but you want the chicken to be 165 on the inside because you're going to pull it out and you're going to uh, you're going to pull it out and you're going to um, take the meat off. So uh, you want to dunk the chicken in every once in a while too and make sure it stays down. So uh, we're going to be back in about an hour, an hour and a half, whatever it takes, till I get 165 and uh, skim the scum. Usually only goes for about 15 minutes and we'll see you in a bit. All right, we're about uh, an hour and five minutes in. Um, I checked the temps, and we're going to turn them over. We're going to check them one more time. I believe we're going to be over <clears throat> our target of 165 for the breast and 175 for the uh, thighs to make sure they're cooked properly. <clears throat> Oop! Try this one. Oh, no, this one. 176. This is 194, that can't be right. 180s. A little high, but I'll take it anyway. Alright. We're going to remove our chicken. This is a handy dandy little gimmick here, boys. Let me tell you. I like this thing a lot. You don't use it often, but it comes in handy when you need it. And right now. Drain the juices out of there. Put them on a plate. Uh, looks like seaweed, doesn't it? But it's not. I'm going to take this back and uh, take the meat off the uh, bones, return the skin and the bones back to the pot here, which is going to sit for another hour. So we'll see you when I put this back in in a few minutes. All right, we're done. Don't make the mistake I made and use uh, just a regular board with no trough in it or without sides on it. We'll put your board in a uh, baking sheet. Um, it made a mess, but you'll have this. So, bones and skin back in. Simmer for another hour. Took me six minutes to get that back in, so that's all right. What you're doing is extracting the rest of the goodness out of those bones and skin and uh, it'll be perfect. So uh, we'll see you back in about uh, 55 minutes. Okay, we're back after an hour. So to do now is we're going to take all the hard, uh, big stuff out of here and we're done with it. doing it this way because I got this if you don't no big deal but uh, just use a regular sprayer which I'm going to do also to get the rest of the stuff that, uh, that I'm missing here the little bits and pieces but I wanted to get that first throw it out Jade was sitting there saying no don't throw it out you away because I don't need this anymore. Alright, we're just going to strain this into my bowl. Get the rest of the little chunkies out. Too soon for this, huh? 
couple of things in here. Not much left, but some. That's good. And pour the bowl back in here. I'm going to bring the temperature back up again because we're going to be adding stuff. We're going to add our salt and pepper and herbs. We're going to be adding our carrot, onion, and half our leeks. And we're going to simmer this for another hour. So we'll be back in a little bit. It's already starting to come up. Good. We'll be back in a bit. I'll see you. All right. We're uh, about an hour in. Um, I had forgotten to add the rice until after I turned the camera off. The rice was added and is in there. Um, we're going to taste for seasonings. I just did that about... Uh, Two minutes ago. It really is good. Very nice. I got a little more sugar. A little more sugar. Jeez. A little more salt to it. We're going to do now, we're going to add our cut up chicken. I mean, after all, where's your cock? Right in the pot, right? And we're going to put the other half of the leeks in. The reason we're doing it this way is we want two different textures of leek. We want uh, those that have been cooked for about, by the time this is over, almost an hour and a half. Um, along with those that have only been cooked for about 20 minutes. So you got a different texture, different taste texture, a little more crunchy. So we're going to put those in. And uh, because of the length of time that this takes, and it does take a while, it's not labor intensive, it just is time intensive. Um, the next time you see me is when uh, I'm dishing this out for dinner. So uh, we'll see you in a little bit, about 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Dinner time at the Angry Cook. As I said, this is a time intensive project. Not a labor intensive one, but uh, look at that. Look at the broth. Isn't that awesome? And the leeks, and the onion, and the, and the uh, carrot. A little bit of that out of there, but a little bit of broth. Went out to the store in the middle of this and got some uh, some Italian bread and I forgot to make any bread and I think that's what it needs is some bread. It is after all a very hearty country style soup from Scotland so they of course would have had some kind of hard bread. So uh, I've only had the broth and several tastings uh, for seasoning and just general overall curiosity. So let's put it all together and see how it is. It's hot, that's what it is. Wow, it's good. This is a winner. This is a keeper. Try it. I think you're going to like it. We'll see you all next time on The Angry Cook.